Hey guys, Tart here bringing you a 1v1 today. We are on some Mosky playing for you today, spawning on the right. We have Pepio Daniel playing as OKW, and his loadout is Breakthrough, Luftwaffe Ground Forces, and Elite Armor. Pepio Daniel currently about rank 20 as OKW, and uh, just about rank 20 with almost every faction. Very highly ranked player. Spawning on the left, we have Don't Know playing as the Brits, and his loadout is Vanguard, Special Weapons, and Commandos. And uh, Don't Know is actually ranked about rank 15 with every faction, so a very close matchup between these two highly ranked players. And Don't Know, I believe, played as Marlboro Man during ESL and had quite a lot of success in the last two or three weeks. A bit late to the party for ESL, but it was uh, pretty. Pretty good in those last couple of weeks. So I've seen Don't Know go for a infantry section first and then a Vickers. Actually foregoing, doing any capping of his fuel. Just trying to maintain building control in the center. Very common to see this map vetoed because it's just, it's, just it's just a bad map for company heroes to... Are on the line. It's one of those ones, that, you know, because it was good in Co 1, I thought it would be good in Co 2, but that is not the case. So, Papio Dan, you're managing to get a bit of capping down with this Kubel on the flanks, that is the advantage of AKW, and uh, this is quite a large map, so the Kubel can uh, put a lot of travelling and be quite successful on such a long range map. Tempani is there waiting behind the bush trying to ambush that infantry section as they come around the corner. Nicely done and here we go. Aggressive plays by the Kubel straight onto the cutoff. Looks like the Vickers going to make it into the building but he's taking a lot of damage. It's on that negative cover road. Sturm's come around the corner now and force away the infantry section. This one's trying to hang tough in the center but it looks like don't know, did go for that fast tech, so he's, he's a bit light in terms of squads right now. And uh, yeah, nothing connected at the moment. He's in a tough spot. Just trying to control the center, not lose control of these buildings. Very hard for Brits to get units out of the buildings unless they have access to the flamethrowers, but doesn't have that doctrine selected, so or even in his loadout, so that's not really an option, so I'm really surprised that he hasn't got this map vetoed. Because, yeah, without those rare, uh, Royal Engineer flamethrowers, this map is a bit of a nightmare, honestly. It looks like he's finally going to do some capping onto his fuel, but at the same time, here comes some Volkswagen ideas. If they can put some sandbags up here, it's a really good idea to put sandbags on your opponent's fuel. Because then you can come along, cap that, and then when they try and push you away from that region, sitting behind cover makes it much, much, much more difficult. And that's exactly what Papio Daniel is going to try to do, but I don't know if he's going to complete them in the nick of time. It's going to be close. Doing some nice work on that infantry section from range. Vickers just trying to lock down the center. And he did complete the sandbags just in the nick of time. The squad's trying to come round. But he's just going to try and evade all together. Just can't contest them when they're behind those sandbags. And infantry sections without that cover bonus just don't really do enough damage. Oh, okay, he's going he's gonna to send a sniper down that way. It's going to cut all this region off. We're actually seeing a Ford battle group from Papio Daniel, so kind of surprising that he's not going to try and rush out a Lux because I think a Lux would be uh, pretty effective right here. Don't know, hasn't hit any fuel, so if he did try and go for an AC to counter, it would be extremely late. I mean, you see how much fuel he has right now. He's nowhere near an AC. I think a fast looks may have been a good decision. Has been 
but maybe he thinks he's uh, got such a big advantage. You can go for a fast tier 4 and having this forward reinforcement could be uh, very useful. Rick is just parked in the center doing this, doing this thing. And once this thing hits vet 1, that thing, that'll just be so good man. Vic is vet 1 range boost. So useful on a map like some mosque. Still, with these guys behind the sandbag here, I'm kind of surprised he hasn't seen the sniper down there trying to deal with them, but he's, maybe he's going to work his way around there now. There we go, sniper forces that retreat. What's this coming out? Okay, ISG coming out. We don't know, and here comes the sniper. It's going to come around this way. A lot of line of sight blockers here, though, so he's going to have to get quite close. And actually, no, he's bringing an infantry section at the same time, so yeah, this squad. In fact, they're going to retreat, and I'm not sure what the fog of war didn't spot them. So this could be cheeky. If he's hiding down here, he could come back and harass us later. No, he's coming in, spotted that. Sniper's trying to chase him down. My site's being blocked by the hedge though, there we go, spotted them. Gonna be uh, exposed, it's gonna get a bit of damage done. I'll stop here, try and maximize the accuracy, and wow, a lot of damage onto that sniper. Does have that infantry section nearby for the heals. Our capture point. They're trying to take it. So he will be able to heal that up, and it looks like this squad got forced away over here by the stems. Whilst all that was going on. And a nice cutoff here, getting rid of those munitions. Or Papio Daniel. And here we go, he's getting out his tech truck already, so yeah, it looks. Well, I imagine he's going to be going for that fast tier 4. A decent uh, fuel income. By the time he, you know, gets that truck built and gets onto the field, be very close to the amount of fuel required to tick up to the Schwer. So Vickers did relocate. It's got to be a bit of musical chairs now, moving between buildings, trying to dodge this ISG fire. And now, don't know, is actually going for an AC. Very, very late AC. I mean, that's going to be coming out around nine minutes, but probably has to do it right now because he needs to regain some initiative and happier Daniel by going for that fast tier four. It's going to be a while before he gets any vehicle out to counter the AC, so if a lot of damage can come down from don't know with this AC, could get himself back into this game. Some grenade onto the garrison. Very late re reactions there. Oh man, this could be a dead squad. No, Kubel's rotating extremely slowly. Here comes the AC just in the nick of time. It's going to be a dead Kubel. Well timed there. Got one trick squad, but that's way back there. Doesn't have enough munitions. Has he got any more enough to upgrade? Okay, he does on this one, and the garrison's about to pop. So AC's gonna have to be careful. Infantry section in a bad spot there. Needs to get out. And there's the Shrek. This one connects with the AC. AC's just gonna have to get the hell out of there. Just giving the squad a lot of virency here. Second squad's coming up now as well. Where is the Royal Engineers? They're in, they are, they're way in the north there. But he does actually have that fuel. And he will be able to connect it if he holds on to this cutoff. Okay, so we've got a Schwer kind of covering the center here. Don't think we'll quite have range of this garrison, but 
Very uh, adventurous trio positioning there. Hoping to secure his early game advantage by popping it down the centre. It'll be very hard to press this point and this point now for don't know. He's going to be getting some repairs. Another squad of Royal Engineers for Don't Know. Don't Know is actually floating quite a lot of manpower at this stage. I wonder if he's thinking about going for some commandos. And maybe, you know, some kind of glider. Forward logistics or commando insertion. The new engineer section is waiting for orders. The problem with commandos, I mean, it comes one CP later. It costs 500 manpower and then you can't rebuild commandos from the glider. I think it would be fair if you could rebuild commandos from the glider. But you can't. So it ends up being a 500 manpower commando squad. Definitely not as good as the vanguard glider in that respect. Doesn't act as a forward retreat point either though you can reinforce from it. Yes, he did receive some repairs, but takes a shred, has to back away for more repairs at ISG. Ensuring that no garrisons are safe. Where are these false mag? Okay, they're down here in the south. Probably going to force away this infantry section as well. So especially with the ISG fiber. Why is he charging them in like that? FG-42 is uh, very good damage, even at long range. It's not like an SMG, you don't need to run up close to be effective. And yeah, those models are a lot more expensive than the infantry section one, so it's a bit of a shame they lost two of them there. And uh, we've actually seen the Ford retreat point for Papio Daniel, so his retreat path is going to be very short. Gonna help him secure the center. And yet the shred position not quite ranging this garrison, so it's safe and actually we're going to see a mortar pit going up here for don't know so this is interesting it's going to be in range of the square so he may be able to siege it down all is now Papio Daniel's court he's got to do something about this mortar pit otherwise his tech structures could be in a lot of trouble and uh, he's he's a lot of fuel away from a tank still after don't know did the harassment of his fuel up here and losing that Kubel doesn't have easy access to that fast capping anymore, so... It was quite slow to regather that fuel in the north there. And wow, the AC's main gun actually getting some damage done there. Sniping two models. And there's the mortar pit. Papio Daniel now aware of that. He's <laughs> He's like, oh damn, man. Damn mortar pit. And this is a good damn map for the mortar pit to too. Gonna try to put a siege on it now. He's trying to get the squad in range for an incendiary grenade, I imagine. No, he just gives up before even tossing it. In fact, that's gonna be a basically a mass retreat. Mortar pit returning fire onto the ISG. Kind of surprised it can range that far, honestly. Does gain uh, increased range of Vet One? So maybe now the ice G will be able to outrange it. Wow, he's going for double mortar pits. Oh my god. So I was thinking commandos, but don't know. It was clearly just trying to establish control in the center enough to put down a couple of mortar pits with all that manpower he's banking up. And now he's actually doing some wrestling with this fuel, but at the same time, got Volkswagen Ds on this fuel in the south. So here we go, double mortar pit's going to start sieging down the Schwer. Papio Daniel needs to probably get another ISG out. 
to try and answer this. In fact, though, he's pretty close to that Panzer Fort, so maybe that's what he's going to save for. That garrison getting very, very low. It's a new grenade into the garrison, in fact. It's AC, maybe it's going to take a Faust here. In fact, it is. And a Shrek. This could be a dead AC. Oh, I know that squad's extremely low. This one's actually not trying to chase it down. Oh, no! Oh, man, those last barrages as they're braced there, taking down their Falschenjäger squad. Falschenjäger just always seem to die to those kind of projectiles. So he has forced away all these squads from the from the region. What is the ISG firing at? I see it's out of range of the mortar pits at the moment, so he needs to get that a little bit closer, start putting some damage onto them. He needs to toss one of those incendiary grenades out. What's he doing? He's switching targets. Oh, but he gets the kill there. Oh, wow, with the mortar pit! Close range, super accurate. Takes down the Volksgrenadiers. Oh my god, man. The swings are real. So Mortipit returning fire onto the ISG. ISG got a little bit too close there. Taking a lot of damage now. It's up to VET 2, but it could get wiped, and it does! And was that another wipe? Did he lose another squad there? No. Okay, I thought... <laughs> I think the uh, unit icon on the... Or a kit and jump from here to over here. That's why I was getting confused there, but... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man, these Mordovits are going to town. Look at this one. Already vet 2, 8 kills. This one up to 5. And, man, they're putting some deeps onto that Schwer. And this is bought... Don't know. I mean, look how much time. He's already got enough. Like, no, it looks like he... he Cancelled. He's gonna build a Cromwell and he's decided to cancel it, stud to tick to hammer. Now he's gone back and he's building a Cromwell again, trying to force away this Panzer Fort. Well, puts it under siege big time. Here comes the Rakescent and the Shrek squad from the south. No AT guns for Don't Know. Maybe he got a bit greedy here. I think this mortar pit's gonna go down. Shrek trying to chase away that AC. But at the same time, Rakitin's probably going to go down here. There it goes, and now maybe this is going to get stolen. But this infantry section's got four men. Tosses an incendiary grenade before that squad has to retreat. And there we go. Rakitin does get stolen, but maybe it's going to be cleared by the Panzer IV. He's trying to clear it. And he does clear it. Force away all of those squads, We've got the ISG putting the barrage on it, desperately trying to repair it, but it's getting so low here. Falschenberger deployed as well, that's both mortar pits down. And here comes the Cromwell, oh, man, don't know, if he didn't cancel that Cromwell and start the hammer tech, this Cromwell would have been in, in time to maybe save that second mortar pit. I bet you he's kicking himself right now. 800 manpower down right there, I mean... At the same time, I suppose they did wipe a Falschenberg squad and a tricked up Falschenberg squad, which is what, about, you know, about 700 manpower, but... <sighs> Heavy losses sustained for both sides. But did he manage to... No, he, he got that Rakitin back. And did he cancel this forward retreat point? Why, why did that happen? That, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Why why did he cancel his forward retreat point? Maybe he wants to run these squads up to the north now? I, I don't know. Either way, he won't be able to heal up this Rakitin, which is uh, very low. This squad... Okay, no, he's not going to run them up. He's just going to run them back up to the base. So maybe there was a misclick. Either way, it's going to slow down. Let's return to the battlefield. 
now don't know regathering his fuel so he maybe he's going to secure double fuel here briefly briefly and now don't know actually has the vehicle advantage having a cromwell and a c this panzer four has got to be careful and this schwer also extremely low oh no look at this it's ford retreat points bugging out here like this model oh, oh that is that is just terrible luck so we had to toss an incendiary grenade there so that is really just bad luck so it's just too risky to put your battle group right next to obstacles like trees or in this case a lake because your troops can get stuck against those trees as they retreat Oh, Panzer IV misses its first shot, and maybe he's going to get flanked by the Cromwell here, maybe not. Head to the door there, back to the combat. Alright. Oh, Panzer IV's got its rear armor exposed. Cromwell's chasing it down. Cromwell's a lot faster than Panzer IV. Could be in trouble here. No, Cromwell misses that shot. Takes a shriek as well. No, Panzer IV's still got its rear armor exposed. Oh, this could be a dead P4. Rakitin not, not targeting vehicles here, but he takes engine damage from this Panzerfaust. Still the Rakitin not targeting. Okay, now it switches to the Cromwell main gun destroyed. Oh, yes, there it goes. Cromwell down. Wow, that was close. I mean, unnecessarily close. I mean, that Rick Kitten targeting squads instead of... I think you have to put the uh, Rick Kitten onto prioritized vehicles before you jump it into the garrison. Otherwise... I don't think you can activate it whilst it's in the garrison. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong there. But at the same time, Rakitin actually pretty effective at killing snipers. <laughs> it's like, honestly, just like random RNG shots can kill the sniper quite effectively. And this is very greedy. What's he doing here with this AC? He's dropping air supremacy. Okay, Happy O'Daniel did repair this somewhat, but now it's getting damaged by the AT gun, so this could be a dead Schwer right here. Haven't seen Air Supremacy for a long time, that does mean, of course, Commandos. I don't know. Here they come, the big bombs. The enemy have destroyed a forward position. Yeah, so most of the bombs these days do drop in a line. They kind of popped it down here. But still, I think that Schwer is going to go down. And somehow, don't know, has managed to secure a tremendous amount of map control. But rather luckily for Papio, Daniel did get this second Panzer IV out in the nick of time before the Schwer went down. So it's all right that he lost that Schwer. It's uh, extremely punishing when you lose your trucks like that as OKW. Very expensive to, to rebuy that 120 fuel. I did actually see a suggestion on the forums recently, which I thought was maybe a good idea that, you know, you have to pay for the truck upgrades, kind of like is uh, suggested in the balance mod. Like the flak upgrade or the medics or the repairs. But... If you have to rebuild your truck, you only have to pay for the truck cost, you know, the 15 fuel, not the tech upgrade cost after the, you've already done it once. So it's not quite so punishing to uh, lose your trucks. Which I thought was a rather sensible idea, because I mean, consider that if you kill like a base for. Brits, all they have to do is repair it, so I think that would be a somewhat fair 
but you have to have all three trucks down to actually build the King Tiger. I think that would be a pretty fair compromise. But there we go, we saw a Panzer IV knock down a, a Royal Engineer squad there. And Falschenjäger now trying to kill the sniper. Oh, but he gets suppressed by the base MG. A little bit too close there. Here's the third model of that. Oh, no, the... <laughs> Falschenjäger now stuck on the truck. But I suppose in some respect, I mean, it's not... Never going to be able to die because it's... One model's always going to be down there. But yeah, that is very unfortunate truck positioning there. Oh, rear arm exposed for the Panzer IV. Oh, well. Now rear arm exposed for the Cromwell. Panzer IV should be able to win this engagement. No, but what's he doing? He's driving right past it. Oh man. Oh, and now he's got his rear arm exposed. This was a really bad bit of micro here by Papio Daniel. Yeah. He just stuck there. We had the rear armor for the Cromwell and the frontal armor of the Panther, which, I mean, not the Panther, the Panzer IV, which, you know, because it has the skirts, pretty strong frontal armor, probably could have won that engagement, but instead he loses it and, uh, you know, can't rebuild that because he's lost his square. Actually, going to put down his mechanized truck in the uh, forward position as well. So perhaps he's thinking about going for the King Tiger next, but I mean he's 33 fuel. That's going to be a very long way. A lot of wrecks on the field here as well for Papio Daniel. Perhaps needs to get that salvage going. Looks like some mines have been down here at some point. So yeah, Falshim, yeah, <laughs> one man still stuck behind that truck there. Man, that is frustrating when that happens. What dropped down here? Panzer Shrek squad went down. When did that happen? Ready for orders. I don't know. I don't know. Also, hasn't got the tank money yet. It's so cheap. Just get it every time. We have 200 points now. Don't know, in a bit of trouble. There we go, 200 VPs, as I was saying, by doing this uh, forward base. Papio Daniel locking down the center, locking down the south. Making it very tough for Don't Know, but he's actually getting very close to air supremacy, so maybe that's his plan. He's going to go for another big bombing run on these forward HQs. An engineer unit is ready for action. So that three models of the Falschenjäger squad caught there, maybe it is. I don't know, just one model. Okay, it looks like he's now trying to wire that region off so this doesn't happen again. <laughs> I hope it works, because that's a real shame. Okay, here he goes, he's bringing the infantry section. Going for the bombs, air supremacy in this region. Probably going to be able to knock out this mechanized. Especially if he gets a few hits on it. Oh man, he's not moved out of this region. This could be a dead raketon. Oh man. Okay, so a lot of damage onto the bad group. Not so much on the mechanized. And uh, no follow up here, so free to try and repair that with these sterms which are nearby. Also have the support package, so that's going to speed their repairs up even further. And, uh, yeah, that. So maybe that. That bombing run didn't really have any follow-ups, so a bit of a waste of munitions perhaps. Don't know. There's a lot of manpower in the bank. I think he's going for a Comet, has ticked Hammer. And once he gets a Comet and a Cromwell, it's 
Pentaforce is going to be in a lot of trouble. Oh man, everything bouncing off this Cromwell. It's giving uh, pretty good luck there. It's going to take a Panzerfaust now, perhaps, though, in the enemy lines. One more shot and this is going to go down. No, it bounces. Rakim gets cleared. He's going to use Valiant Assault. And there we go. Nicely done there. Valiant Assault speeding up his Shrek squads there. Allowing him to chase down that Cromwell. But he lost his Rakitin. And I mean, that happened just in the nick of time. Don't know. Overextended quite badly with that Cromwell for no real reason there. I don't know why he just chased in there. But now, I mean, he's kind of lost his initiative. He's about to take control with Armored Supremacy. Thanks to the Cromwell and the Comet. But that is no longer the case. And uh, Happy Daniel not having his tier 4 down anymore doesn't really matter too much because he does have access to those Falchion Jaeger and they're doing a pretty good job. Oh, he just got out of the building on the wrong side, though. He's probably going to lose the squad. Yeah, there we go. Nicely done. He stopped as they were crossing the negative cover road there. To try and maximize the chance of hitting and uh, ultimately getting the wipe. But still, Papio Daniels, his fuel incoming, he's not been having very good fuel control here or in the north. I mean, maybe... I don't want to say just get a Kubel just to do some capping up here, but I mean, I feel like it's going to die to the Cromwell or the Comet. At the same time, maybe that'd be a good idea to try and get a mine down here or around here. Try and bait that tank up there with the Kubel. And then try and knock it out once it's run over that mine, because we haven't seen any minesweepers so far from Don't Know. Looks like he didn't manage to steal that six pound in here comes the comet and now his panzer four could be in trouble did he recruit that rickiss and he did Enemy threatening a capture point. wants to get a faust off but not before it takes enough damage for the threshold panzer four is continuing to back away it's got a shrek squad coming up from here Pops Blitz. Now Comet's in trouble. Gonna take a Faust on. And here we go. <laughs> Folks are just trying to chase him down. Rakitin trying to set up but uh, not having much success. Kind of need to predict where it's going to move rather than just right clicking on the tank in these cases. But it's maybe going to get one shot off. No, he doesn't manage to get the shot off. Strix trying to get the job done. Sniper force away that Falchion Jaeger squad. No, Shrek bounces. Here comes the Panzer IV thinking about trying to come back and bounces as well. Oh, the Comet. Massive shot there. Takes down three models. Rakim gets cleared. Panzer IV bounces again. And he has to abandon the chase. Man, crazy good luck there. Comet does have pretty strong fronted armor, but bouncing two Shreks. And uh, two Panzer IV shots in a row. <laughs> Keeping him alive there. I know Panzer IV's penetration at long range is pretty rubbish, but... And now he's getting very adventurous, trying to knock out the Panzer IV with this stolen Rakitin. But he's kind of just gifting it back. Oh, but no, he's going to drop... Oh, no, there's more to cover. I was, I was like, no, the air supremacy already. What? Has he had this much munitions? But no, more to cover. But this is actually a very, I mean, pro I think probably the best thing in uh, Commander Regiment at the moment. This is uh, extremely strong. Just drops mortar shells, a lot of white phosphorus, and then just uh, just flat mortar shells as well. We're losing a capture point. Very useful ability. It's kind of like light artillery barrage combined with white phosphorus barrage. 
but of course you do have to have a line of sight she currently does not frangible there deployed by the falchion jaeger There we go, they're spitting out some damage now at VET 4. Look how, look how quickly they're ripping through that squad. But still, don't know, has had double fuel control for such a long period of time and Papio Daniel just crawling his way towards that King Tiger. But yeah, his fuel income is just so low at the moment, 16. He's con he puts pressure on this, but it's so close to the base. Time and time again, this sniper for Don't Know has just been coming down here, forcing away the squads, recapturing the fuel. And yeah, this is so far away from the action at the moment for Papio Daniel, because no squads are retreating to this point. It's quite a trek from here to here. That's why I was thinking maybe the Kubel could be a good idea. No, he's going to go for another opportunity squad. Point. Probably needs another Rakitin now as well to try and deal with that Comet. Don't know, getting very close to his second Comet, so uh, <laughs> things are looking pretty grim for Papio Daniel. His very, very low fuel income, and conversely, don't know, his very, very high fuel income. Causing a lot of issues, and there we go, Rakitin misses its first shot. Bolshim Jaeger, look how much damage they're doing! What's this, the retreat there, and look how bunched up they are, man. They're probably going to get wiped. Oh, oh they're going to get maybe killed. No. Comet doesn't try and chase it yet. Perhaps a missed opportunity. <laughs> That'd be a real good pickup. Looks like that wire got destroyed maybe by some of the bombs, but the squads have got stuck there again. But at the same time, looks like... No, is that two models? It looks like two full screen dev models, actually. Stuck back. <laughs> oh, God. Can't poke his head around there. He's taking a lot of damage from these tricks, but doing it... Bit of manpower bleed in return. Bit of a battle for the central VP now. Don't know. Under a hundred VPs feeling a lot of pressure there. Oh, the sniper went down. I don't even. I don't catch that on camera, but oh, oh no. There's a squad, but that's actually. The they're stuck back there. <laughs> so misleading when that happens. <laughs> oh, he pops some Falshi Mega Patch, hoping to cast the squad on retreat. You now have a new comet tank. No. And man, I don't know. Tank guns is gone. I don't know if you guys have uh, been reading. Oh, he got that squad. That four man Falshi. He may lose his next. Oh, they round the corner just in the nick of time. There's 440 manpower down there just to clear that AT gun. A real waste. But yeah, I don't know if you guys have been reading the patch notes, but they're proposing like massive, massive increases to the bundle grenades, so maybe this doctrine's going to become a lot more popular. Oh man, this Panzer IV is not bouncing any shots. Oh, but he rounds the corner just in the nick of time before that comet can get its next shot off. It's a way to safety. It's his only form of armor. And he's actually bleeding a, just a ton of manpower now. He's getting very close to the fuel. He's pretty much at the fuel for his King Tiger now, but... He doesn't have the manpower. He's been bleeding so much. Losing that Volstream Jaeger squad. Really set him back a lot. I mean, if he had that 440 manpower right now, it should be pretty close to that KT, but. 
It is not the case, and now with two comets sitting here in the center, Dono is in a pretty good position, getting very close to being able to afford another air supremacy operation as well. And once again, Pepe Daniel having to burn an incendiary grenade to try and release his squads from being trapped back there. A T gun and comet working on that mechanized truck. Panzer 4 now up to VET 4 though. What is again VET 4? Sighting and weapon range and accuracy. So imagine it goes to 45 range. No oh man, functioning are coming around the side here. Also bleeding a lot of manpower from the squad. No, there they go. Oh, looks like he did lose that squad there. They're all clumped up. Comet got the kill, and now he's coming in for another air supremacy. Didn't quite get it deep enough though. Just a little bit further. Been uh, more desirable, but a lot of squads nearby. He's got to try spread out. Maybe go north and south. Try and dodge that line of bombs that'll be coming through. So he gets the mechanized. Doesn't get the battle group. I think this is probably the high priority target at this stage. But at least that will delay the repairs onto this Panzer IV. Yeah, Papio Daniel, he's just got to. I mean, maybe at this stage it would be a good idea to just try and disengage. Just charging into the center time and time again against these comets. Only bleeding manpower, delaying his King Tiger. Just let, don't know, try and push forwards. Like this situation now. Force it back. Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe going to take down this infantry section here. Yep, there we they go. Don't know, not paying attention. Oh, and that squad, lucky break there for Papio Daniel. So that's two squads down for Don't Know now. And all of a sudden, his infantry forces looking very, very light. It looks like he's trying to save for another Comet, though. Three Comets. Even the King Tiger and the Panzer IV are going to have a lot of trouble against that. Daniel just can't save up that manpower for his KT. As I was saying, I just don't think it's a good idea to try and contest the center at all right now. Two Vickers sitting words? here. There's no way he can penetrate this and he just He's just bleeding manpower unnecessarily. He just waits for those comps to try and push through this region. Tries to ambush them. He just stalls for King Tiger. I think that would be the most effective thing to do right now. Oh, he's actually getting some really good hits with this ISG onto the... Double, in fact, double ISGs onto that machine gun. So he forced away that one. But here come the comets. Try to hunt down the Panzer IV. We've got uh, Kesson repositioning. We've got Shrek Squad up here. Shrek Squad down here. There's a comet tank ready to go. And uh, maybe this is a good time to drop mortar cover on this region right here. For don't know. This could probably seal the game right here if he does so. And that's exactly what he does. Right on cue. Nice positioning for that mortar cover. Here come. The Comets charging after the Panzer IV. Panzer IV is desperately trying to get away. This one's actually going to go down, looks like the Vet 3 Comet. Or oh, maybe not. Needs to pop Valiant Assault, try and chase it down. Bounce. All these things are bouncing, but at the same time, they're bouncing off this wreck. 
This Panzer IV wreck of the comet's gonna go down trying to kill this! Oh my god! Oh wow! Oh, but here comes the fresh comet. Gonna finish the job. No, he misses! He just cannot kill this Panzer IV wreck! Oh my god, he just can't kill it! Why can't he kill it? He just lost two highly vetted comets right there. And this is what I thought he should have done all along, just run around here and try to kill it from this side. Away from all the tricks. What? What is this? Okay. Okay, cooked up. I was like, what? <laughs> Has this thing somehow bugged out and become invulnerable? What's going on? But no. And now, I mean, that suicidal push there by don't know, I mean, it was looking so promising, but he exposed the rear armor of those comets to a lot of shreks. Stuck around too long trying to kill that abandoned tank, and now the King Tiger about to come out for Papio Daniel. And don't know has suffered just such a crazy amount of losses. And now these ISGs also going to town on this machine gun. And look at all these squads three man squads can't actually recruit his six pounder with those engineers, which is what you would prefer to have happen. And uh, this king, that means this King Tag is going to come out. He's not even going to have an AT gun on his side. And he's gone for a sniper. Oh man. Surely he must be thinking, I haven't seen a new tank for so long. It must be a King Tiger soon, right? Surely that must be, should, I mean, it should be going through his mind. It must be a King Tiger. I would have been thinking to myself for the last quarter of an hour, there is probably a King Tiger coming out shortly. So you've got to be ready for it. And sure, three Comets would have been a pretty effective counter against the King Tiger, but one Comet, no AT gun. That is not going to cut the mustard. Don't know, can just sit back. In fact, no, maybe he can't. Because he's running low on VPs. I was going to say, maybe he can sit back and wait for a Firefly. Firefly and Comet combo. Pretty effective against the King Tiger. You let the Comet try tank. Firefly sit in the back, do the damage, has a much better chance to penetrate the frontal armor of the KT, and then of course Tulip's great finishing blow, but maybe no. Now Comet's taking just a crazy amount of damage here from the KT. He's gonna lose control of this VP, and if Papio Daniel pops some Falschmjäger here from the north, you can drain him out pretty quickly. You see, don't know, actually going for an AT gun, in fact, double AT guns, I feel like not going for the Firefly right now is a massive mistake. It's going to go double AT guns instead. So it looks like he's going to rely on those AT guns to try and do damage and maybe use the Comet to try and keep the infantry at bay, but... Yeah, I mean, when he lost those two infantry sections almost all at once, the uh, infantry forces never really recovered from that. I mean, you keep thinking that that's going to be a dead squad, but they're always stuck back here. <laughs> really misleading stuff. Oh no, he, lost, he just lost that to the KT. Now he's got nothing. He's got nothing. Oh, what's he doing with the sniper now? Okay, he's desperately trying to hold on in the center, getting very low on VPs. There's a six pounder. Managed to neutralize this, but I don't think he can stick around to try and cap it. Because here come two squads, including that Vet 5 Bolshing Mega Squad, but they take a lot of damage. Oh, here comes the Comet. Comet trying to force away the Rakidna. He's taking a lot of KT damage. In fact, he's going to take a Faust here from the Volshenjäger. Double AT guns working on the KT, but now they are sitting in front of these Vet 5 Volshenjäger. And there goes the KT. Picking tricks. And KT fire. Comet, man, that is 
That is it. Desperately trying to hold on the center, but that second AT gun also gets cleared. Now he's about to lose his machine gun as well. Oh, everything's just gone horribly wrong for don't know there. What a what a crazy swingy game here. Pappy or Daniel had such a strong start, but then maybe lead his opponent back into the game by not getting mechanized out. But then he got a fast Panzer IV and Oh man, back and forth action, the continuous air supremacy is knocking out all these trucks. And then it came down to that massive push there. Don't know, just going way too deep, exposing his rear armor to Rakittens and Shreks. Just trying to kill this vetted up Panzer IV. Probably cost him the game. And now he's building the Firefly, but yeah, as I was saying, should have done that before instead of that second AT gun. Should have been a lot more effective. As you saw there, two AT guns just not mobile enough against all this infantry. And also, you know, Firefly's got a better chance to penetrate. And there we go, that's the game. Don't know, surrenders. Oh, <laughs> that was an entertaining one. <laughs> Oh man. Anyway guys, I'll wrap on that. If you'd like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye, and good luck.